everybody, I'm Sherilyn and welcome to Makeup University. Thanks for joining me for another edition of Wine Wednesday. And before I get into the video, would you be so kind as to subscribe, maybe even comment, maybe even share. Oh, and if this is your first time, welcome to Makeup University. If you are returning, welcome back. All right, everybody, Wine Wednesday continues, and oh boy, do we ever need wine around here, because back to school has happened, we're in full swing, we're back to the grind, the commute, yeah, we're miserable, not just me. When I say we're, I don't have mice in my pockets, I'm actually talking about me and my son, and we are desperately looking for, in search of, not Bobby Fisher, but actually an alternative to his schooling. Um, so the traditional deal just really isn't working and homeschool was too isolating and we're looking for something that has classes in the morning, labs or tarmac time in the afternoon, and then that there would be credit or an ability to do school work related to travel. So is that asking too much? I think not. Okay, let's talk about this wine. Um, as you know, I'm a Walmartian, and this summer I have been doing Wine Wednesdays, focusing on wines available at the Walmart and that are $10 and under. So this right here is called Naked Wine. This is a Pinot Noir from California. It has black cherry and blueberry, and I saw that black cherry, I'm like, oh, I like Pinot. I like cherry. Then uh, it's a sort, a soft confidence that hits the perfect note. It has this cute little naked truth number. It says number eight, silence is powerful. So let's get into the sampling. I have a little glass poured here. As you can see at first glance, it's very thin. I find that Pinot Noirs usually are thin, um, the scent. could fell a horse. You know what I found was really important in doing these wine reviews for you is that we need to end the video with either a yes or a no. I would buy this or I would not. Or I would gift this to somebody that I don't like. Or I would gift it. So here's the thing. Um, in general, I don't like it and I won't be buying this again. And it was just a big disappointment. So uh, Naked Grape, at California Pinot Noir. Here, here goes, bottoms up. Goes down pretty hard. Very tart, very tangy. Finishes sour on my palate. So in my experience, I'm glad to have tried it. I would not buy this again. I don't recommend it. I don't know if I would pair this with anything. Hmm. One more time. Okay, let's just put it down. Handy dandy tables right here. Naked Grape has a little note on the back. It says, Dad always says that being strong doesn't mean having killer biceps you brazenly show off in your favorite t-shirt, but instead that having confidence and listening to others can be a test of true strength. I love the messaging. I don't know what has happened, why I don't like it. I mean, it's not a white wine, for gosh sake. But to me, it just... It, <sighs> Maybe it's the blueberry. Maybe I got a bad batch. Uh, friends and family around the dinner table were just talking about how what goes around comes around. So Fukushima, anything made before 2011, you're not running the risk of experiencing high levels of nuclear radiation in your wine. But anything made after 2011, it's got a little radiation in it. So I'm thinking, well, maybe that's what the deal is. Maybe it's got more of a dose than others. All I know is that you guys, if if I had to call it like a Las Vegas horse race, I would say no. I would not buy this twice. I don't plan on enjoying this. That's a stretch. At all ever again. Did I just get a lemon bottle? 
that's really possible. It has happened to me before that I bought a brand and I opened it up and it was entirely fizzy inside, like almost like a champagne. And that's a rare occurrence that happens. It happens in the fermentation process. It got too much sugar and sometimes you get bottles. And the answer, if you ever open a bottle of wine and you've got a red wine that is bubbling up like a champagne, relax. Just pour the whole bottle out into a glass decanter, glass works better than plastic, and let it set, usually about an hour, maybe a little bit more, and all the bubbles will bubble out. And yes, you can drink it with the bubbles in it. That's not a problem either, other than you get a cab salve and you don't expect it to be bubbly. So long story short, make it great. God bless you and go to your goodness somewhere else. Uh, if you're with the brand and maybe I just got a bad bottle, let me know. I'm always open to more information. Oh, hey you guys, do you like wine? Do you have a great recommendation for a wine that's $10 and under? If you do, please post it in the comment below and I would love to try something new. Love a recommendation. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Cheryl Lynn. This is Makeup University and remember, you look really gorgeous today.